by special recording. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the oat cereal ready to eat, and Wheaties, breakfast of champions, present The Lone Ranger. Well, 
there's a match, an outlaw. No, Captain. Did you ever hear of the Lone Ranger? Never. And it'll be hard to make you understand how important he's been in the development of the West. I'm sure it will. I'd never put any trust in a man who found it necessary to hide his face. He has a good reason for that. A reason that may seem good to him, perhaps. At any rate, he and his Indian friend, Tonto, have actually... This has become more and more interesting. A masked man who's friendly with an Indian. That makes him a renegade, doesn't it? Not at all, Captain. Tonto isn't an Apache. May I finish with my report? Go on. The Lone Ranger and Tonto have actually seen crazy dogs encampment. It's beyond Needlepoint in Copper Canyon. He has nearly 200 braves with him. I suggest that you send a messenger to Captain Winthrop at once and ask him to join you here. I'll make a note of your suggestion. Uh, what? Wouldn't it be more to the point to act on it? That's my decision, isn't it? But, Captain... You were Captain. present when Captain Winthrop and I made our plans. We were to ask for reinforcements after one of us had contacted the enemy. That hasn't happened yet. But you have the word... You were a renegade. You have my word. The man is not a renegade. If he says Crazy Dog Stronghold is in Copper Canyon, that's where it is. When I'm convinced of that, I'll send for reinforcements. And not before. Captain, you'll see no sign of the Indians until you're past Needlepoint. After that, it'll be too late to retreat. And with only 50 men, you'll be wiped out. I doubt that Crazy Dog has as many as 200 braves. And even if he has, 50 troopers should be more than a match for them. With surprise on the side of the Apaches... In the sort of terrain you'll find inside the canyon? I have complete confidence in my man. So have I. As long as they're not faced with the impossible. That will be all, Banner. But, uh, must be true what they say about you. What do you mean? There's nothing wrong with being young and eager to make a name for yourself, Captain. But when you carry glory hunting to the extent of endangering the lives of your men... Get out of here, Banner. You're fired. Good enough. That gives me all the opportunity I need to finish speaking my mind. Both you and Captain Winthrop want to marry the colonel's daughter. Because Winthrop's your senior, you feel you'll have to make a better showing than he does in the field. You've decided this is your chance. It's my duty to carry out orders. To find Crazy Dog and wipe out his renegade band. Uh, wait, Ned. Ned. As a friend... Get out of here, Banner. Get out of here or I'll call the guard. All right, Captain. You win. And that means you'll lose. <laughs>
Christmas? Only one, sir. I haven't seen anything of Chris Banner this morning. He's no longer with us. What? He questioned my orders last night, and I was forced to dispense with his services. Is that all? Uh, yes, Captain. Very well, then. We move at dawn. Camp was broken. The troopers settled their horses. The sun rose. And miles to the west, the opening of Copper Canyon gleamed fiery red. The captain took his place at the head of the column. Hey, hey, oh! Yes, sir. Oh, no, no, no. Easy. 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 Easy
I... My mind has already been made up. To attack, Captain? To attack. At the right time, sir. Good. I mean to send a courier to Captain Winthrop at once. Our horses need water. We must continue to the opening of the pass. But we'll wait there until the other squadron joins us. That's fine, but there's no need of a courier. Chris Banner rode to Hawkeye Pass last night. Captain Winthrop's men should be on their way here now. You bring good news, sir. Much better news than I deserve after the way I acted last night. I should have listened to Chris and believed him when he vouched for you. I... I allowed personal motives to color my judgment. Since then, I've had time to reconsider, and I'm glad you've given me this chance to apologize in person. There is no need, sir. You're very generous. We... We'll consider it a great honor if you ride with us. Of course, Captain. Dead had been buried. 
in the wounded cared for, Captain Winthrop knelt beside Ned Dalton, who was lying on a blanket, his legs swathed in bandages. We'll need an ambulance to get you home, Ned. I've already sent for it. Oh, yeah. We'll need more than one ambulance. I know. I've sent for everything we have in the way of a vehicle. <sighs> At least there'll be no more massacres of women and children. No. You'll be decorated for what you did today. No. Why should I more than anyone else? It's you who planned our strategy. Oh, you're wrong there. I followed your orders to the letter. The man who brought you the orders was the one who planned everything. I'm off to glory, Rodwin. What? Trying to impress Louisa, for instance. Well, you managed to do that a long time ago. You're the one of that. Trying to impress everyone. It's all over. No, and I'll just try to be a good soldier. The world will call you a hero. No. Not after it reads my report of today's action. The world will soon find out how easy it is to be a hero. If one has the help of the Lone Ranger. I don't know. Get on your way. Get on your way with Wheaties. It helps a guy feel confident just knowing that champions are made, not born. Oliver Graham, famed quarterback for the Cleveland Browns, made himself a champ. Listen, young Otto on his way to fame found football was no sissy game. Took power and speed and head work too. And Graham learned, as champions do, that Wheaties help a guy come through. Now Otto passes for that score and still eats Wheaties even more. Otto Graham's been calling the right breakfast signal for 23 years. A big bowl of Wheaties. He-Man breakfast? There's a whole kernel of wheat in every Wheaties plate. Touchdown, Otto. Let's go, boy. Hey, hey, hey. He's on his way, on his way. He's on his way, on his way. Get on your way with Wheaties. Cause champions of eight, not four. Yes, sir. Get on your way. Get on your way. Get on your way with Wheaties. Breakfast of champions. Created by George W. Trendle. Produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. Directed by Charles D. Livingston. And edited by Fran Stryker. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. The Lone Ranger is brought to you by General Mills. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at this same time. Be sure to listen. This recorded program has come to you from Detroit. This is ABC Radio Network.